Uh, joining me right now is Arizona Congressman, member of the House Ways and Means Committee and Joint Economic Committee Vice Chair David Schweikert. And Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much. Thank you. you are a member of the House Ways and Means, and you had that access uh, to this information, and you voted to release it. Tell me what else you've learned. Um, look, I have the pleasure of chairing the oversight within Ways and Means. And one of the things we were most disturbed with was the FBI's, the Justice Department, particularly the Justice Department's, um, creating block after block after block. So think of this. We had two IRS whistleblowers come to us almost 14 hours, actually over 14 hours of depositions, walking us through what concerned them. When you have the IRS coming to you saying, Justice Department isn't letting the IRS criminal investigators do their job, that should set off alarm bells of just um, how the, the, the duplicitous problems that are happening in our government, and particularly with the Biden Justice Department. I mean, there's a real impact here, obviously. If this president and his family has been taking money in from communist China, they, they've got the goods on him. Uh, the CCP has a goal of overtaking the United States as the number one superpower. They're, uh, uh, you know, conducting aggressive provocations across the world to, to continue their goal of overtaking the U.S. as the number one superpower and uh, this Belt and Road strategy. So what are the implications of uh, this potential compromised position this president is in? Oh, Maria, uh, I think you have to actually get even slightly more cynical. What happens if, it, beyond just the manipulation of a foreign power like China, what happens if your government, your Justice Department, has been so weaponized that it is functionally a, an attachment of the Democrat Party? If you live in a country where you cannot trust your institutions, um, how do you actually have a government that moves forward? And as we learn from the whistleblowers, um, we need to actually go up and down the Justice Department with a fine-tooth comb and understand, is basically um, political advocacy part of their DNA now? That is incredible. This is so stunning. And a new NBC News survey finds a whopping 74 percent of voters think the United States is on the wrong track. Only 20 percent think the country is headed in the right direction, Congressman. And this is just based on policy, uh, because the large ass of the country is not hearing these Hunter Biden uh, conflicts and this uh, Biden family corruption story. The mainstream media won't report it. Oh, and look, I know this isn't exactly the topic, but think of this. Borrowing this year because um, health care costs have skyrocketed, tax receipts are down, and interest has gone up so dramatically. Every dime of military and what most people think of as government, all discretionary, it looks like every dime of discretionary this year will be on borrowed money. Um, the wheels are coming off financially. At the same time, you have a government, an administration, that's pretty darn hard to trust. So what are you going to do in your role? I mean, the Democrat-controlled Senate Appropriations Committee voted last week to advance the 2024 federal spending plan. They've approved a $1.59 trillion cap to increase the nation's borrowing limit, we know. But committee chairwoman Patty Murray says that she won't go any lower than the cap set by the president and Speaker McCarthy and will reject any unserious bulls from House uh, bills from House Republicans. Congressman, your response to all of this, you, you don't mm -hmm. see any pushback in terms of spending on the Democrat side, despite that fight over the debt ceiling raise just a, a month ago. Oh, it, look, the battle is about to go um, ballistic, if I can use mixed metaphors. Um, appropriation bills are in drafting right now. It, the difficulty it's coming is we're hitting numbers we were not supposed to hit for eight more years. And it's hard for many of us to try to get in front of our communities and try to explain health care costs. We have to be brutally honest. Looks like Medicare spending will be up over 16 percent this year. Interest costs, we're going to head over 600 and probably 60 billion dollars just this fiscal year in financing costs. And it gets much, much worse over the next few years. Um, it is time for the public to actually stand behind us 
and be ready to do some pretty brutal battle with the Democrats in the Senate on yeah. just telling the truth on yeah. how rough the well, numbers are. We'll see, because the FBI wants a $3.5 billion building, a new headquarters building. They want it to be bigger than the Pentagon, Congressman. Will they get that money? No. Okay. We'll be watching that, <laughs> um, of course, as all of this plays out. Congressman, good to see you. Thanks very much. David Swikert joining us this morning. Maria, thank you for having me.